Hello and welcome to Follow Everton on a very, very hot, sunny day. But, mate, that wind, how are you, Wes? I'm good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, great. Is that wind going to be in our favour today or not? <laughs> well, I said, I said there before, didn't I? I think, um, you know, playing Gomez with, uh, with this wind, you had to play him because we can't be hoofing it, playing long ball stuff in this wind. Do you know what I mean? So we we need somebody to be able to put the foot on the ball and you know thread thread some through balls through for DCL to run onto. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be um, challenging the wind. Are you surprised? Uh, six foot four, six foot five talisman O'Nana's not playing. No, because Dyke said in his uh, press conference didn't he that he was touch and go. Um, I'm not sure about Garner Gay. I don't know why he, he's not in the squad. Uh, maybe he's, he can't play two games in, in close succession. I don't know, mate. Yeah. Thanks for the team news there, Mr. Blue Skies. It uh, looks more professional when it's up on the screen there. Thanks very much. Lovely to yeah. see our followers. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're new. But uh, let's have a little peep. Right, buddy. Are you nervous? Yeah, because I think this is a imperative that we get three points today, mate. Uh, um, it's the it's the most nervous I've been for a long while, because they, so, the, the thing is, like Burnley started yeah. picking up points. Uh, it might be only draws, but it's picking up points, and it gives them that momentum. You know what I mean? So we need to set, sort of like put them back in the box today, and, and uh, you know, show them who's who's been around in the league the longest, mate. Uh, is right, Everton. The Blues, maybe I'm talking he should be our talisman. I'm not saying he is. He will be somebody's talisman in the very, very near future because he's <laughs> yeah. gone in the summer. Absolutely yeah. is he gone. Yeah. Uh, nervous. Do you know what? I'm feeling confident. But in all fairness, if if they don't do the business today, I mean... They've got to be able to handle pressure. I mean, we spoke briefly before we came on air, didn't we, about the crowd? Yeah, it's it's like apparently, apparently there was been like a um, a roll call sent out through the week for everybody to get down the ground and show the support for the team and all that. And I just hope that carries on throughout the game and they don't start getting all you know angsty like. If, if we're not winning after like 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, you don't start getting because that nervousness filters through to up to the pitch. You know what I mean? And and we need to we need to get behind the lads and 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 start cheering them on rather than you know giving them loads of abuse and stuff like that because that's not helping nobody, is it? No, not at all. It's as we just said before, mate, five five home games, three away. So there's eight cup finals, but you know, I know that we all know the stuff. There's been stuff going off behind the scenes for quite a while, and and that's still going on. But they've, it's non-negotiable, friends. They've got to do it on a pitch. It's just yeah. non-negotiable. Yeah, the you know the time for talks over. It's just, the time for doing now and getting results now. The thing is now, like Burnley are gonna Burnley are a decent passing team. Like, so you know, with this wind, that's what we need to be careful of. That, that you know, with their passing ability, and they're not a great team, Rob. But the, but company likes them to play football, whereas obviously it's a different thing with dice. Diff, you know, dice balls are the, but you can't play that in in this wind because you'll just get held up in the wind, and the next thing you you're on the back foot. So, if company likes them to play football and uh, the way they are, the way they are in the Premier League, does that mean they can't play football, or the class of player is not good enough? I think I think mainly the 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 the, the standard of players that they've got in the team, like you know, is they can companies like absolutely romped the 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 championship with the style of football he's playing. And he's tried to carry that onto the Premier League, and it's not an easy feat to do. And that's where they've been, um, you know, they've been found short. Um, but 
but you know, if they if they're coming up against teams that are in and around them, and I mean we we've handled teams well where they they play football. You know what I mean? But we make we like we're better at defending teams that like throw crosses into the box because of the height of the box. When they start playing little short passes and stuff around that, it's, we, we kind of struggle against that. I, I just find it, and I've got a smile and I've got a laugh because it's just like, it's just that predicament that we're in again. It's like, I'm doing this the stream and you want to be positive and you you want to laugh and you, you want you, the love. It's, it's kind of like a, your love affair of everything for, for how many decades. Mm. You just keep letting you down every time. You, you try to, it's like climbing a mountain and you just keep slipping and you're slipping and you're going, oh, I'm going to have to use this safety rope in the end. We've, do, we've done them twice this season though already, Rob. So yeah. I'm fully confident that, they, you know, they won't be complacent, but at the same time, they'll, they'll, not, you know, they'll know that they've done them twice this season. You know, so it's probably the only team that we have done twice this season, isn't it? Most definitely. Uh, if anyone's got the Burnley team there, can you just ping it up for us and then we'll put it on the screen? Because in all fairness, I know you watch a lot of the football uh, when you're abroad, Wes, um, yeah. in the bars, in hotels and stuff like that. But Yeah, I'm, I'm in Qatar it's, today. Burnley, it's like, I, I couldn't name the team. I don't know who's the threat or what. Because I just don't look at other teams. I don't... Yeah. I don't like physically watch them on TV at all. Rod, Rod, Rod Ross is, is, is spot on. It says it's about time the staff management and players realised or remembered who we are. Do you know what I mean? And and, yeah. that, and that's no that's no like off the cuff such a statement. We, we're, we're still a massive football team. You know, one one of the most historic football teams in the league. And and I think they like say I think sometimes they need they need to be reminded of that, and 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 also teams that we come up against need to be reminded of that. Uh, the Blues is coming up with an interesting one there, isn't he? I know. <laughs> uh, who we are as a team in sixteenth? Yeah, we we are, but we would we you know take away the points deduction, we wouldn't. We wouldn't be 16th, would we? We might be 15th. <laughs> We'd actually be 14th. But that's would we be 14th? Like, that that takes us on to that other story, doesn't it, about us being heads off and Forrest and then yeah. obviously... We don't want to go down that route again, yeah. mate. Yeah, you know not I mean? doing it today. Because it's, it it's getting a bit stale. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it's just about today now, getting the three yeah. points, getting the, getting the confidence level back up. Because they'll, they'll have a bit of confidence after... After playing Newcastle the other night on Tuesday, yeah. they'll have a bit of confidence back, and um, you know, hopefully they can kick on. Hopefully Calvert Lewin's got a bit, you know, he, he, he sort of eased his bed in a little bit, and um, he can he can go on and, and put in a great performance today. Mate, I'm looking at that team there, and I, that might be for me. That's a team to play in the Sunday League because it just doesn't mean nothing to me. Who's the threat yeah. there? Uh, Sander Berg. Sander Berg's probably their biggest threat. And Larson. Oderbert's a decent player, though. Oderbert's like nippy for the winger, you know what I mean? Who's their top scorer? Um, I think it's probably that. It might be that Oderbert. I don't know, you know. Right, okay. I don't know. Or that Brune Larson, I don't know. Like I say, I don't. I'm like you, mate. I'm, actually, I think they've got four goals. That for fan has got four goals. So he's on a par with DCL then. Yeah, but he, uh, I don't even know whether he's. I think he might be in midfield, isn't he? Yeah, he's a midfielder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you've got a striker on par with a midfielder. So what are punters thinking the score is today then? What are your thoughts about today's score? Don't play it safe. We need three points. No ifs or buts about it. A point, sack it. If it's a point, Wes, if it's a point today, would you accept it? No. No, mate. 
to be honest with you, I, I, I won't accept nothing but three points today. Now, yeah. normally I'm I'm one for saying I'm going, I'll take a point a day all day. You know what I mean? Especially if we're playing away from home. I'll take a point. But today it's it, it, it's imperative that we get three points. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And people people on here, and, and don't get me wrong, they've got, they've got the right to an opinion. There's, but there's people saying that they're going to run rings around, isn't it? Let's be positive for the change. Let's just, we've done them twice already this season. We're at home at Goodison. We haven't been great at home, but they're not they're not that great. The second bottom for a reason. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, so, I, I'm going for 2 0, my friend. I'm going for 2 0 today. And, I, and I, yeah. I do think, I do see DCL back on the score sheet. I'm not quite sure who's going to score the other one. Might be two from DCL, but that's, a, and that's, the, a, that's what I've got in my head. The thing is, as well, Rob, right, is that, yeah, we're 16th, right? But they, they are, I don't think they've been out the bottom three all season, right? And they're in the bottom three all season for a reason, right? We're 16th after having six points taken off us. Yeah. Does that what I mean? So, you know, we're clearly the, we, we should be clearly the better team. But on the day, who knows, mate? But we need to be we need to be positive. Get behind them. Stop with all this negative st- stuff that they're going to run rings around us. Yeah, and for those people who don't have access to any uh, any way of watching the match, Ozzy Chris, who's over in the USA, he's actually going to be doing a watch along this afternoon, and he regularly now gets fifteen hundred to two thousand views uh, and viewers on that one. So. Uh, he, yeah. he can stream into Peacock. Isn't it great, mate, when you're around the world and you can tune in at three o'clock? But here, yeah. the Premier League is the Premier League in the United Kingdom, but it's like you can't or yeah. you shouldn't. But this, I'm, like I said, I'm in Qatar this, this week, mate, so um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fully legal. I mean, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit warm. Yeah, it's a bit warm. I've got the aircon on. But yeah. There's, there's also people going on about Ashley Young playing again, right? I don't think he done anything wrong the other night against no, Newcastle to be deserved to be dropped. You know, so no good. No good having the who do you, who do you put out there? Jack Harrison's out of foot, like way out of form. He doesn't offer nothing. He's put James Garner in, who didn't really offer anything for a few games, but come on, change the game the other day. Maybe. James, maybe James Garn is an impact sub. Who knows? But he's starting them again today, and um, we'll see. What, we'll see how he gets on. But you've got a bit of creativity with Garner and Gomez in the midfield, mate. You know what I mean? So yeah. let's let's hope that he can do the business. Yeah, I spent uh, a good few hours yesterday uh, in Yorkshire, and obviously I was in the company of a few Leeds fans. Obviously, what you do, you talk about football, and I yeah. asked them what he thought about Jack Harrison. And they kind of looked at one another before they actually spoke, which kind of was like, I was a bit surprised. And they said, he either has a worldie or you wonder if he's on the pitch. Harrison. Jack Harrison. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of the Leeds fans have said that. And a lot of them have said that they don't want him back at Leeds. I, I can't see a stand in them for 20 million. No. I, I, I Personally, I thought... When when we when we first got him on loan and he was injured, I thought like like once he came came into the side, I think you know I thought we'd score goals because of, you know his his uh, distribution and stuff and um, four two it is to the Man City by the way Palace just got, scored Edward, um, but yeah I thought he you know he'd create some some crosses for for DCL and and at first he was he was he was decent wasn't he but he's just, he's just fell off a cliff hasn't he. It's bizarre, Massively, it? totally bizarre how that happens, and you'd expect them to maybe fall off the cliff and lose their level of whatever, whatever. But I would genuinely expect them to get it back. It's not hard, yeah. is it? <laughs> yeah, but but it, but it, but he hasn't. No, you know, and, and as much as he's toiled and and whatnot, he, he he literally he doesn't offer. He hasn't been offering anything for a while, so I'm not surprised that. Like if you're if you're if you're Jack Harrison at what is he twenty twenty four whatever it is, 
24 years of age and you're being displaced by a 39 year old then you need to have a lot a long hard word with yourself don't you yeah yeah uh some some of the everton fans though unfortunately uh if they have a bit of a downer on you uh it's hard to shake that off any and for for like Ashley Young, again, mate, I agree with you. Didn't do much wrong the other night. Mm. If, if I say he won as a penalty, you know, a rare penalty, then obviously he was in the right place at the right time. Yeah, exactly. But but he he's one of the he's one of them like where like you can you, you can give him. He's been around the game for so long that any sort of like criticism washes off him easy. Whereas like the likes of Addison. When, you know, because he, he he's obviously been in the, in the side for the last three years now, like like a lot of our players. He's got, you know he's gone from a team that's was was scrapping relegation and got out of relegation to getting relegated to come into a team that's scrapping relegation. You know, so but he he just he doesn't he, like he doesn't offer enough to to warrant being picked week after week, and he was. Well, yeah, that, that's McNeil. Yeah, it's the same. But you can with with McNeil, he's got a lot of personal issues going on behind the scenes. You know what I mean? So you can kind of like give him a bit of leeway with that. But yeah, um, with Addison, there's no excuses. So we're expecting Gomez to literally play like he he did when he was at Barcelona and just put no, the ball. No, when the, you know, when I, you know what I want to see? Yeah, you know what I want to see? Was the Gomez that played for us in the derby and absolutely run the show in midfield yeah. in the derby. And even all the Liverpool Liverpool fans that 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 I know were saying, wow, he, he's a player, him. Yeah. And then, obviously, unfortunately, he got his break and was never the same player. So, yeah. it's quite I'm sad, just hoping it? that... It is sad. Yeah. It is sad, but... At the same time, Seamus Seamus was the same, and when he came back after his leg break, he, like everyone was expecting him to struggle, and I fit like at first he didn't. It's only it's only his age now and his legs that have let him down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fingers crossed we win this. Come on, you Blues. But uh, yeah, Mister Blue Skies again. When you're getting picked week after week, and you know you're going to get picked. You don't have that incentive to go out and put a performance in, so it's it's up to him now, isn't it? To to sort of he's had a, he's had a rocket up his ass with with it being displaced by Ashley Ashley Old, and um, isn't that you know, quite it's, sad? It's, that comment you just made there, friend. I find it quite sad that we should have to be talking about it when you're at the top of your career. Okay, you know, he's, but he's playing in the Premier League and he's playing for Everton. Okay, he's not playing for Man City or. Arsenal or whatever, but the fact that he doesn't or he doesn't appear to be performing for whatever nope. reason every week, I, and you can you can you can can't, you can understand it in a in a team that's struggling, that confidence is low and stuff like that. But we got them four wins on the bounce, and he was like he was flying, weren't he? And then all of a sudden he's just gone boom, just nose dived. Yeah, I wonder like, if like, they I wonder if, if they were trialing inhalers for that four wins, mate. <laughs> they were probably, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I think, I think uh, Ashley, Ashley Old needs a nebulizer, never mind an inhaler. Yeah, I'll just throw that one out there about inhalers because it's all it was all kept quiet, wasn't it? Never came into the public domain, really. Was if it was us, uh, they'd have been all over it with a rash. But uh, there you go, that's just a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of fun. We like to have a yeah. lap on this uh, on this stream. But we we need we need some cheer amongst the the blue family, don't we, mate? We need a, a bit of you know when we when me and uh, me and Ozzy Chris are going to do the uh, post match after. So we don't want a few. We want we want loads of people on there, bigging up every single player that's played today and saying that they were all ten out of tens. You know what I mean? After a great win from the Blues, yeah. Well, I hope I hope that you get that, and I uh, send me messages, friend, because I've got my grandchildren today. So 
uh, I won't be listening. Uh, I won't be watching. Um, send me some some messages from over there in Qatar and uh, keep me posted because there's plenty of people on this channel that can fume. <laughs> yeah, the thing the thing is, because uh, I'm over here at the moment in Qatar, nothing's happening because it's Ramadan, isn't it? It's too off for them to do to do anything. So, so they're all uh, everything shut. You know what I mean? So. So they'll have enough. that break today, will they, Wes? They'll have that break after 20 minutes again today, will they? Uh, they might do. They might do. Uh, no, actually, they won't because it's daytime. Can't eat during the day. It's all, it was only because it happened the other it, 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 The sun went down. Got it, yeah. Really? Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Martin, I, I think it's I, I have seen me, um, me background. It's, it's, it's a pop-up one. So I just what it is is I fold it up, put it in my suitcase, travel all around the world so that I, I'm I'm fully legal watching everything, and they just unfold it out my suitcase and it, and it's there the couch and everything's blow up. So, yeah, yeah. So there's no problem. Wes has got no problem about those detection vans ever knocking on his door, because no. we must emphasise that from follow Everton that you must subscribe to Sky, because yeah, and, as I, we all know they are they have been a rock. To Everton throughout this yeah. uh, the past few months with the points deduction and the seven 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 have been giving us lots of positive uh, press and media coverage. So uh, please don't have a dodgy stick because Sky is the way forward. Yeah. So uh, Tom Thomas Thompson, that's a mouthful, Thomas. Uh, this is his. This must. This is ideal. This is your ideal teammate. So obviously Dan Jume is. Dan Juma's injured, but he'd have Dan Juma in um, normally. Um, he's took it off now. Oh, well, um, sorry, mate. So he'd have McNeil, Patterson on the right, Garner, James Garner, Gomez, Beto to beat them up for DCL sub. Oh, okay. Beto to beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, uh, it, it, at the moment I'm kind of thinking: is he, is he want to start, or is he want to come on as a bit of an impact and a bit of a, a bit of a six foot four? Let's give them a bit of grief with you know fifteen twenty minutes to go. I, I, I can't, I can't weigh him up at the moment. I think he's no, gone with DCL again, purely on the back of he's hoping that he's broke his duck against Newcastle and uh, he'll, he'll, he'll have that. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's, mojo back. that's all it is. That's that's entirely what it is. But I, I you know, I, I'm open that he's going to prove me wrong today, the Robster. Clearly, but I just think that it's um, probably much of the same again from DCL today. No, you, you know what, right? You can't, you can't knock Beto's goal scoring record for the amount of minutes that he's played. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So and if he'd have scored the ones he's missed, mate, he'd actually be prolific. Yeah, well, pro prolific in our uh, yeah. in our context, anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Prolific means more than four goals for us. Well, so, yeah, it's uh, yeah. We just we have used that word again, friend. Don't we? We we live in hope, and and every time me me phone pings today because it'll be in me pockets. I hope that it's you telling me it's one nil. It's now two nil. Yeah. We're smashing them. It's now three. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then we and then we can maybe start resting our players and put the two goalies on. <laughs> two goalies on the bench, yeah, just in case you didn't realise that. So uh, the, no the thing is, the though, right? For our he's put two. He's put two goalies on there, Rob. Right? And what's happened to the that Mackenzie Hunt that he, they were throwing on the bench the other week? Like, why are you playing two? Why are you putting two goalies on the bench for? Yeah. Uh, if I use the word inexcusable. I'm going to use it briefly because we want to stay positive, don't we? But sometimes you just go, well, what, what's the script here? But there you go. We've got to keep, I don't know. I, I'm, sometimes I just literally go, it goes over my head. Martin says uh, his wife's gone in the director's box on a freebie and she see, hasn't seen us win when she goes. Martin, get down the ground and drag it out of there, lad. 
because, I'm, because we'll I'm, not, go. I'm not I'm not having your missus taking the blame if we don't win today. So the thing get is, a, she's just like DCL, she's gonna break a duck one day, and she well, let's hope it's today. Yeah. Uh, da- Damien C. Anyone else think Tark has been poor recently? He was poor. He, w- he was poor against Newcastle just for his positioning. He was he was screaming to everybody to 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 push up, and then was the furthest back for for the um, for that um, Isaac goal. You know what I mean? It, it, it was like it was bizarre the position that he took up. It was really weird. I still can't get my head around it. Yeah, if we analysed, I mean, Chris Light's just the one to analyse things, isn't he? If we were to analyse, mate, we'd be we'd be here on a Guinness Book of Records stream analysing the season of yeah. all the mistakes and all the uh, all the goals that we've missed. Yeah, and do you know, do you know what? Like, if 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 nobody if nobody on here has actually uh, came on and watched the um, Aussie Chris do the analysis of the games. It's it's fantastic. It really is. It's it, it, it's it's a sight to be old because it's like it's like watching Keys and Gray ro- rolled into one. Do you know what I mean? Because he, he proper knows his onions and he 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 goes into it in depth. He's got all the all the technology there to break it all down, and it, it is fantastic. I mean, it's it's way beyond my my sort of remit, Rob. You know what I mean? I, like we just come in, we just come on in. We we don't even talk about. Uh, where the threat is from Burnley or where, how we're going to... We just come on and talk absolute wham for a, for like half an hour, 40 minutes, don't we? You know what I mean? Yeah. But people so, seem to enjoy it. Total spam. Engine bracket, uh, the two the two likely lads from years gone by, the kind of... Uh, we're like the Gomez's, aren't we, mate? We can just put our foot on the ball and ping it. We kind of know what we're talking about. We kind of know what's required. What what pisses Wes and I off is that there seems to be a lack of determination, passion, and all those words you would use in a positive light to get us out of the uh, SHIT. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you, going back to the Newcastle game, the first half was probably as, as poor as, as, as it has been all season. But then made the subs on 60 minutes and, and it changed the game. I'm just open now that Garner, you know, coming on when he did the other night and, and changed the game, he's he sort of had given him the kick up the arse that he needs. You was, know what I mean? Was that the first time, friends? Was that the earliest opportunity all season that he's put subs on? Probably, yeah. Yeah, it is. Without looking back on it, probably. Yeah. All season. It, but that's I mean, that's that's been that's been his downfall, isn't it, when you've got yeah. Players that have run them, but you know when you when you can see then the you know, the lion's share of possession game after game. Like I fully expect us today to give up a lot of possession to Burnley because that seems to be the way yeah. dice ball goes, isn't it? It's like let them have the ball, and then I mean, but then it's a, it's a long game, isn't it? Isn't it? I, I it's a long game. But I'm laughing. Let's give. Bit, it, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of just digesting what you're saying, but I fully understand what you're saying. That we're but it's a, it's a what's name in the ball. It? Yeah, it's a long game when you're constantly chasing the ball, and when you when you're making your subs on 85 minutes, you know, 85, 88 minutes, it's it, it's it's hard work for them, Rob. And and obviously yeah. this wind's not going to help. You know, obviously at some point they're going to be running into the wind, so. You know, you need you need to make subs when when your players are sort of like starting to flounder, innit? Yeah. So I'm going for two nil, friends. What's uh, what's in your head for the score today? So what the robster? I'm going proper positive today, mate, and I'm going three nil. Oh, how do you like them apples? What's uh... Any have you got any thoughts in your head on who's going to make the bat of the onion? I'm gonna go with a DCL brace and a Bramfweight header from a corner. Boom. Okay. 
Okay. Um, there's a there's a funny one. John, I'm just having a little rest, my friend, from doing all the exercises. It's like I'm one of them old fellas that just spends hours and hours in the gym, but I don't have to go anywhere. So it's like on the back of the house. So it's like I'm quite lucky, really. But there, there you go. Everton Rose going one nil, but I'm fight. Me, me, and, me and Rose, me and Everton Rose are, are on the same sort of wavelength there with Bramfweight. We think both thinking Bramfweight, but obviously I'm going for a 3 0. 3 0, yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, our friend Dozzy Chris going for McNeil against his old club. And maybe Tarkovsky, Tarkovsky scored in the, the, the last games, didn't he, against, yeah, against yeah. Burnley? I mean, they're, they're the ones, you know, if you like a little flutter and a couple of quids, they're the ones, because that normally happens, doesn't it, against your old club? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the, the thing is, it's like, I don't think he celebrated that goal, did he? And, and whether he, if he scores today and doesn't celebrate it, I'd be thinking, come on, mate. It's probably, probably at this present time, the biggest game that, that we need as a club. And we pay you the know, wages now. We pay your wages. You left them on a free transfer because they didn't want to sign another contract and play in the and play in the championship. You know, yeah. we, we we sort of offered you the lifeline, come back and play in the Premier League and pay your hundred grand a week. So we want to see a celebration if you score, mate. Either of you. Yeah. Yeah. We pay you six million pounds a year, so let's have you punch in the air. <clears throat> yeah. Like me and you will be. So, Buddy, um, you're doing a post-match, aren't you, with uh, with Watch Along, Chris? I'm doing the post-match, yeah. Everyone um, else is at the game today. All the other uh, people, were, all the other punters on follow Everton, they're all at the match having a family yeah. get-together. Just as does, just does armchair supporters here and uh, all the way, all the, live, from, uh, live from Qatar. Yeah, well, that, do you know what? Yeah. That'd be nice. And when are you back from Qatar, mate? Or where are you staying um, from next? Any other countries? I'll have to I'll have to let think about it depending on um, where 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 we are. We might I don't know whether we're on Sky or or CNC next week. So I'll let, once I get back from Qatar, obviously you'll be a bit jet lagged than that. So um, I'll have a little kip and have a little think about it. Uh, are we away to Chelsea next week? Are we? Way to Chelsea. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then we obviously we've got a, a massive week coming up then, haven't we? Three games on the bounce after that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, my friends, I'm going for 2 0. The West is going for 3 0. Everyone else is has gone from being a little bit negative to being positive. Maybe that's our positive influence on you. It's been fantastic. We've had I'm predicting yeah. an early goal today, mate. Oh, predicting mate, an mate. early goal. Well, I'm predicting you're going to be sending me a message from Qatar early doors, so I'll be literally it's it's on vibrate in my pocket. The, so, the only thing I will say is I'm not I'm not here for that long. So if you see me next week, whatever country I'm in, whether I'm back in back in Liverpool, if we haven't got a tan, it's because I've been watching the game, flew straight back home. And it's too hot. And it's too hot to be sitting out there, mate. He, he, even the uh, Qataris don't sit out in that mate so yeah. me being fair skinned a bit pasty I'm not going to yeah. sit out there mate I just burn like a crisp so everyone enjoy the game today and get on and watch Aussie Chris doing the watch along Aussie Chris for the watch along and the West and Aussie Chris for post match thanks, thanks for, for watching. joining thanks for watching love you all see you soon adios everyone adios